Attention, the following video may contain fun, humor, profanity, personal opinions, political incorrectness, and so on. If you are under the age of 18 or are easily offended by something as simple as gendered words, then I suggest you turn this video off and watch something more suited to you. Something like Sesame Street. Don't say I didn't warn you. How dare you! Well, good day, guys. Welcome back to the channel once again. This is going to be part two of Project Team Associated No Prep. So, if you hadn't seen, I uh, put a little community post, just a little teaser of car, basically the finished uh, car. Uh, it took a little while. Um, I'm actually. Believe it or not, I'm still waiting for some parts to arrive. So I got a little creative uh, and uh, worked around it. And I've basically finished the car um, for the time being. So it's on the table here. So we will cut to it and have a look. So here it is, guys. In all its glory. I guess you could say. <laughs> um, so, this is the Ford Pinto body that I've gone with. And, as you can see, it looks pretty smick. Now, I had some issue painting this. Um, for some reason, like, uh, as you can, we can see here, I've got a black bonnet or hood for my American friends with a stripe and uh, black uh, front wing sort of thing here and I went around it with some chrome on the front and um, that came out fine however if you could possibly see in the um, the, uh, the rest of the main color which is blue it um, it's meant to be a fluoro blue it's uh, spastics electric blue I think it's called had a, uh, I don't know what it was, but no matter how hard I tried, it was like a static charge causing the paint to go funny. And, and for the record, guys, this isn't my first body I've painted. Um, I just, for some reason, it just wouldn't sit very well, wouldn't sit well onto the shell. And, you know, I cleaned it and made sure it was spotless dry and everything but for some reason decided to uh, go funny so as we can see it's uh, the shells done but when we left off in the uh, previous video I have to excuse my chair it's very old and squeaky I can't fix it but anyway <laughs> So in the last video we left off where I just finished 3D printing uh, some uh, minor parts and so forth. Um, in that time I have some other little bits and pieces have come. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put uh, the camera on the table here and I will take off the shell. So we have popped the hood. All right, so as you can see, the body posts have arrived. These are, believe it or not, off, uh, these are HSP brand. And if you never heard of HSP, they are a really cheap beginner level brand of car. Um, got these off eBay just to for body posts and they work perfectly you've got these on the front and the back here and as you can see here guys I have a wheelie bar on the back now I know some of you are gonna have a bit of a chuckle at it and I know this isn't a prop well, I guess you could call it like a professional or a proper wheelie bar this is actually a wheelie bar this wheelie bar is 3d printed and it is 
uh, mounted to the underside here. Now some of the parts I was waiting for were some links that haven't turned up yet. So I got a little bit creative and got my, I have an old eight scale buggy uh, that, that's been sitting doing nothing under the shelf, under, oh, under the table here. So I took the steering links off and um, I've attached them to the rear wing mounts to a degree. So how it works is I actually, if you remember in the previous video, I had the wing mounts upside down. That was, and I had the 3D printed mount here. That was fine. However, I found that the these rear body posts were too short for to suit the body. So I've had to flip them around. And what I've done is I've put, because the, uh, these uh, Exotech wing mounts are actually threaded. So I've put some extra long bolts through. And the links, this, this side here is screw on. So the, if I get my trusty torch out, just so we can see a bit better. As you can see guys, they're extra long screws and they and the uh, links screw onto that and it comes down and they screw into the sides here. Now as I said you probably some of you will probably have a chuckle. I do realize that this is rather crude compared to some of the fact like ready-made stuff that you can buy. Um, I do have just a bar going through and this is actually a tail wheel off a model airplane. This is just for the time being guys. I want to make it clear that this is the time being. This wheelie bar is essentially just a prototype and this isn't the final um, itera I guess you call it final iteration of it. Um, so yeah, that's the wheelie bar and like it works pretty good. There's a bit of flex to it, but like I said, this is just a pro little a first iteration sort of prototype with it. So, also, as you remember from the previous uh, video, I've got, I made these 3D printed um, shock tower extensions to have the rear shocks upright. In the time from that video, I have... Um, ordered some I ordered some front uh, springs for the rear because they're shorter I have here on at the moment these are TLR springs or Team Lacey Racing for those playing at home uh, these ones that are currently fitted on it are the TLR yellow front springs they're 4.45 pound rating I also have the TLR Gold here. Uh, these are 4.7 pound rating. And just for any options, I've got the uh, TLR Purples, uh, 4.03 pound. Um, so those are some springs just for some tuning options at the moment. Um, also, uh, if you remember, I put, uh, it was about 60 weight oil in the rear. I have since changed that. I have got some TLR 100 in there. So, uh, so that all 100 weight rather. So it was about 60, I think it was 60 weight beforehand in here. And I've changed that to 100 weight. Um, like I said, now I haven't run this yet. I haven't run this yet. I want to make it clear. So we are hopefully going to have a run in this video. Maybe the next one. I'm not too sure. It all depends on the weather. It's been a bit meh lately. What I've also done too is I just made a simple mount here for a fan to sit on. And that's just to keep the motor cool. It's just uh, all all these 3D printed parts are out of um, PETG, just for reference for those wondering. 
and also if you remember I was a little hesitant with the motor that was in it before it was this Novak five and a half turn while it is an old motor it's <laughs> still got some power to it so I was a little hesitant about it so what I've got in it for now just so I can get used to it is a Turnergy Trackstar seven and a half turn I used to run this in mod this motor in two wheel drive modified electric buggy a couple of years ago it was plenty quick back then so for the time being it'll do so that's about where we are guys with it so what I might do is uh, hope for a clear day I have to scout an area where I can run this one where there's no traffic where it's uh, clean and smooth and where there are no Karens because we as we know Karens ruin everything so what I'm going to do now is hopefully this might be another couple of days after I film this segment here uh, we are going to cut to somewhere and we'll see how we go and give this a run alright guys so it's early morning here where I live it is very hard to find a quiet place to run this where there is no traffic where it's smooth and there are no Karens so I'm just going to make give it a quick check to make sure of the uh, steering <laughs> got a bit of a lean it actually looks pretty sweet with the uh, tire lettering and everything Okay, so there's a bit of pitch on it when I hit the brakes. But it seems to be going straight. Let's give it a tyre warm up. It's definitely going to need it. guys so first hit let's see how we go <laughs> geez that was with a uh, that's with a seven and a half turn the uh, ball diff definitely does not like the <laughs> does not like the uh, grip levels I'm gonna give it another hit without doing a burnout but it did seem to go nice and straight what's the tire temp like yeah all right here we go it's actually despite the uh, body pitch <laughs> that actually went pretty good the TLR springs seem to be doing the thing what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and do a slow-mo and see how everything uh, works so give me a sec guys
Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, this will be the end of the part two. Uh, any more questions, don't hesitate to ask. And let's see how much better we can get this car to go. Looks like I'm going to have to get a gear diff because the ball diff can't handle the power. And that's this with a seven and a half turn. So stay tuned for part three, guys. We'll see how we go. Cheers.